Hi there! Let's make a roll-on, shrink-on, flexible packaging ready for print. PAX is built around the PDF format, a universal, secure and self-contained file format. PAX opened the PDF document without conversion to an intermediate or proprietary file format. The intuitive and configurable user interface gives access to a multilingual work environment with numerous prepress editing features. Here, I define the trim pad and remap separations to custom ink books. I may also set ink type and printing method. Shrinking the sleeve to the right size means that it fits the product like a glove. Lap seals, fin seals and back styles can be defined using the dimension functionality and later called up for warping and 3D viewing. Here I set the overall dimensions, lap seals and divisions of the flexible artwork. If you want to move fast and reduce errors, you may want to know if the artwork content corresponds with the implemented house rules for printing. With a customized pre-flight preset, PAX performs many checks, such as the presence of low-resolution images, barcodes and elements with RGB paint. It results in a pre-flight report or interactive accessible list in PAX. The errors are automatically corrected by PAX or by the prepress operator. Here I replace the 72 dpi embedded low resolution image by an external high res. I update the recognized EAN barcode with the correct number and bar rate reduction. I continue with conversion of the RGB images to CMYK. I finally ensure that the black text is in overprint. Printing presses are characterized by using inks, ranging from CMYK and spot inks to presses with fixed ink sets or expanded gamuts. I use the integrated ICC-based color management tools to remap all spot inks to the expanded gamut of my Flexo or digital printing press. I conclude the ink management by setting the correct order. The combination of embedded fonts and advanced text tools allow making last-minute text corrections without the tedious task of loading fonts on your workstation. The character recognition solution converts outlined characters of different languages into live editable text. It makes the difference when you have to meet tight deadlines instead of going back and forth with the customer. The asset palette gives an overview of production-critical artwork elements such as a list of embedded images or those linked to an external reference in the file server. PAX supports Photoshop PSD, TIFF and many other image formats and gives the possibility to make edits in Photoshop and see the result instantly in PAX. When printing on a transparent substrate, it is most likely necessary to prime the artwork with a white background. PAXIT's white underprint tool manages primers and finishings in a fast and efficient way. I have selected a complex background layer, set a finish separation and request PAX to spread the white just a little bit outside the areas on which it has to be applied. Let's show it again, but this time we add a varnish overcoating to the complete artwork in function of protecting and enhancing the artwork on the shrink sleeve. No need for boring and routine tasks. Let's take the digital proof and automate the creation process. Pactions allow grouping or recording interactive tasks. I made a paction that inserts an information panel and generates individual pages for primer and finishing separations on which the customer has to sign off. The information panel uses the live object technology to link the content to the artwork. At the bottom left I have an overview of the ink consumption, while at the top left PAX has loaded information from an external data source. Here I show how PAX obtains order information from an MIS or ERP using the item ID. I can even change language. 
As you know, shrink sleeves are printed flat onto a film, seamed and dropped over a product container before going through a heat tunnel that shrinks the sleeve around the packaging. The PAX Warp and 3D modeling technology compensate distortion, ensure that the artwork elements display as intended, and PAX gives a clear idea of what the final product will look like before your shrink sleeve artwork even hits the printing press. Substrate stretching and misregistration between printing units may cause gaps or white spaces on the final printed sleeve. The Smart Wrapper technology compensates the trouble by overlapping artwork elements in an automatic way. No matter how the trapping has been applied on the file, in other words, in an automatic or interactive way, the operator may still influence the final result by adjusting the Smart Trap preset or by using the Trap tool to make modifications. The flexible packaging printing industry steps and repeats approved artwork on a flexible plate. I load the cylinder and substrate preset, step and repeat the artwork, set bleed and stagger the lanes to avoid the press bounce that occurs because of gaps in the layout that stretch over the cylinder width. I use the cutting definition tool to define the boundaries of the staggered repetition. To use later in Cloudflow Tectonics, a high-performance flexoplate layout solution that groups the rib output based on job and plate properties. I can also use the cut lines later on a cutting table on which the flexoplates are cut. If necessary, the cut lines can be set for each separation individually. Here I defined one for the varnish and one for the other separations. Bearer bars, ink strips, registration marks or microdots are added to facilitate plate mounting and manage the quality during the printing process. The live objects technology is used to make dynamic marks and printing strips while Paxions position them within the boundaries of the staggered repetition. The shrink sleeve is ready for output and printing. I'm at the end of the video presentation. Hybrid Software looks forward to hearing from you. Find out more about us on our corporate website and YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and for now, goodbye.